fifth graders, welcome to Go Math Lesson 11.2, Triangles. Pause while you write the lesson title and number in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is classify and draw triangles using their properties. Today we'll be starting on page 445 in your Go Math book. Let's look at the unlock the problem. It says, if you look closely at Epcot Center's Spaceship Earth Building in Orlando, Florida, you may see a pattern of triangles. The triangle outlined in the pattern at the right has three congruent sides and three acute angles. What type of triangle is outlined? So it says complete the sentence that describes each type of triangle. So we're going to be classifying the triangle in two ways. We're going to be classifying it by the length of its sides and also by the measures of its angles. So first of all, it says an equilateral triangle has blank congruent sides. So we need to think back to fourth grade, which I know was a long time ago for you. But back in fourth grade, if you remember, congruent means equal. So it says that our triangle in Epcot Center has three congruent sides. And if you look at it, you can see that the sides are equal. They are congruent. And an equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. It also says on the right, a right triangle has one 90 degree or blank angle. And if you remember, again, back to fourth grade, a right angle equals 90 degrees. So we need to write that a right angle has 190 degree or right angle. So the little box in the corner means 90 degrees or right angle. And if you look at our triangle in Epcot Center, it does not have any right angles. You can tell a right angle because it's like an L or a backwards L. So take a minute and write these two definitions, equilateral triangle and right triangle. Write those in your notebook so that you will have those. Moving on to the rest of page 445, an isosceles triangle has blank congruent sides. So let's count how many sides are equal in this triangle. So congruent means equal. We have one 3-inch side and another 3-inch side and then a 2-inch side. So we have two sides that are congruent. So an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. An acute triangle has three acute angles. So if you look at 
all of these angles, we know that they're acute and they're they are all less than 90 degrees, which you should remember, I hope, from fourth grade. So acute is less than 90 degrees. Take a minute and write both of these in your notebook. And also look at that triangle in Epcot Center and you will see that all of its angles are less than 90 degrees. And then let's look at a scalene triangle. It has how many congruent sides? It's got one that's five inches, one that's four inches, and one that's three inches. So when we look at this and we're counting up the number of sides that are equal to each other, we see that zero of its sides are equal to each other. And then over to the right, we see that an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. And we have to think back to fourth grade again and remember that obtuse is greater than 90 degrees. So let's write obtuse up here. So it says the type of triangle outlined in the pattern can be classified by the length of its sides as an equilateral triangle because its sides are all congruent. So we're going to write equilateral there. And the triangle can also be classified by the measures of its angles as an acute triangle because all of its angles are less than 90 degrees. So be sure you have all of these definitions, so there should be six of them written in your math notebook. And look at the math talk. It says, is an equilateral triangle also a regular polygon? And explain that. I would like you to come to class with an answer for that written in your math notebook and be ready to discuss that tomorrow. The rest of the lesson we will do in class. Be sure to go back to your teacher's webpage and complete the exit slip. Be sure you are able to write the lesson objective in the form of an I can statement and be sure you understand the lesson. Thank you. We'll see you in class tomorrow.